starting point is one to create a subtle intervention. Um, so maybe um, use, for example, a box pleat that usually is placed in center back in the middle um, to move it to one side and just shift the eye. You start thinking about a detail like that. I think that's something that um, I find um, thrilling. My work usually focuses on uh, the expressive force of color and the effect it has on space. So it's not an abstraction of a jar or a flower or an inner or an outer landscape. Um, it's just out of the color that I developed the painting. So at the end, in the end, it stands on on its own. You know you go, you don't go. I immediately fantasize to see them on fabric. Um, just because I think prints are really difficult and are very rare to find. And if you see the, the paintings, you immediately have a dress in mind, or a t-shirt, or a scarf, or is it wild? No, it was or absolutely abstract. Yeah. I don't think it was very clear. It was just this very strong intuition. I was really wondering how this piece would be printed on fabric. Would it still be my piece of art? Is it going to be a new piece of art, a completely different piece of art? Right. Then being transformed to a dress or a t-shirt, I wondered, is it different again? <laughs> How does the collaboration influence um, the work you do after? The idea of working with two planes, just having one plane in one color, bringing even more calmness to, to the other part of the painting. It's, it has something to do with communication. It's completely different if you're alone in your studio and it's different again talking with Mira about the project. We were, I think, very modest and very uh, sensitive in this project. What do you think? <laughs>